gonna be going forward here, building the bed frames now. And essentially I have six of these hinges. I'm gonna start measuring on my mounting plate here where I'm gonna place these. I'm gonna chisel out the depth of the plate, sort of similar to how you install a door. All right, so I've gone ahead and measured out the little sections I have to chisel out. There's three of them per side. As you can see there. Um, and essentially I did, I left five inches on each end and then the one in the middle is, is on center of, of the bed itself. I need to basically notch out the thickness of this plate. When this gets fastened to the wood, it'll be nice and flush. And then I'll probably have to notch out this little panel board as well for the actual uh, pin, but I'll deal with that once I get there. So here we go. Okay, so that's one of six notches cut out. It took a little while and it's obviously not the most efficient process, but um, I think it turned out pretty nice. And if I grab my hinge, fits in perfectly. Nice and flush and clean. So yeah, this process is gonna be repeated throughout for the five other hinges. Cutting this out with by hand is fun and all but uh, I have five more of these to do. And a friend actually recommended this and I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner, but I have a router. And so I'm just gonna try, kind of freehand it. I don't have a jig or anything, but I'm just gonna take my time. I've never done this before. Sure, it's a little bit more difficult on a vertical surface. I'm not gonna do the entire cutout and I'm gonna leave myself a nice boundary so I can finish it nice with the chisel. Uh, but it should be a lot easier to do that with this than the chisel. It is possible with a chisel, it's just a lot more time consuming. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'm gonna try it with the router. I'm just gonna take my time, what could go wrong? That went a lot quicker, and this actually turned out really nice and clean. Okay, um, yeah, that's gonna be a way better process. <laughs> I have the slot made now for the hinge. Um, I just have to cut the uh, panel board a bit so that the hinge pin has a, a location or a space to go. And essentially what I've been doing is just placing the hinge where I want, tracing out the pin itself with a pencil. And then I've been just using an X-Acto knife to uh, cut this panel board because it's so thin. You can get through it really easily with uh, a sharp blade and just take your time working my way through the panel board with the knife not really pressing too hard I'm just making 
I make the blade do all the work. And then I'll see if I can get a nice straight cut here. Wedge my knife in there and I guess cut the glue out. There we go. Oh, it's not too bad. Really nice. All right, that's all six notches cut out. Three on both sides, turned out great. Really nice and clean. The uh, router definitely made this job a lot easier. So I guess now it's time to uh, start building the bed frame. Here we go. Okay, that's the first half of the bed frame done. Now time to build the next one. All right, that is the bed frame complete. Now I just have to mill out the slots for the hinges in the same spot as they are on the walls. And then it's a matter of lifting it up and securing the hinges and installing this for one single last time. I will have a fold down leg on each one. Uh, so I'll do that as well. This is very exciting. 
I have a bed frame. Everything lines up nice. It's great. For fasteners, I'm thinking about doing something a little different. These are the little screws that the hinges come with. You know, they're only a little inch Phillips head typical kind of screw. They don't look very strong and are kind of dinky. So what I'm gonna do is I have these self tappers. And so I'm gonna use these to fasten the hinge to the bed frame. I only have three quarter inch of material. And so at the end of the day, the screw will pop out on the other side, on the inside. So I'll have to shave it down. But this will be a lot stronger than the little screw that the pack came with. To fasten the hinge to the wall, I'm actually gonna use the same thing, but just a much longer screw and larger screw. And uh, that should be plenty to keep this fastened to the wall securely. Um, definitely a little overkill, but I'm just, you know, better be safe than sorry. Um, I have these left over from other things in the project, so I might as well just use them. Okay, 
So I haven't finished the screws yet, but I'm just going to lower the bed and see how well it lines up to the other bed. So yeah, we ran into a bit of an issue. Um, I'll try to show you here. So if I lower this bed, you can see I'm about three quarter inch, three quarter inch off. And I don't understand how this is happening. I put the hinges in the exact same location as, as the ones on this wall here. So I really don't know what's going on. Like, uh, this is super frustrating. All right, well, I'm gonna do some tinkering, I guess, and try to figure this out. So the bed's out again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Honestly, like it's it makes no sense. I I can't find where it's off. Uh, so basically, what I'm just gonna accept is that the this bed is gonna be the hinges are gonna be mounted three quarter inch offset than this one. Um, that's that's honestly about it. Like this gap is the same. The gap on the other one was the same. Uh, I backed off all the screws, allowed some like tolerance and movement, and still even with that, and like I was trying to pull as much as I can, you know, both of these trying to get them to line up, and it just seemed everything was square, but it was misaligned by you know a half inch or three quarter of an inch or something. Um, and so yeah, I really don't know where that's coming from. I I don't know. Like it's it makes no sense to me. And I'm sure that once I'm done all this and you know a month goes by, I'll probably clue in on what the hell I did wrong. But I'm gonna purposely misalign my hinges now so that my bed actually aligns to itself. So because everything else matches up, everything else works, the the gaps, you know, along the rail here are the same. The uh, distance from opening is the same <laughs> um yeah like i <laughs> i tried messing around with the uh the pocket hole um uh like pulling in the wood a bit again that didn't really do anything it just seemed that the whole entire thing was shifted you know half an inch uh, tweaked or or skewed skewed is the word skewed is the word skewed about three quarters of an inch or half an inch, which results as this to be a little bit more than that, but yeah, 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 I don't know what happened, but I'm going to assume that the walls of my trailer are skewed. Yay. Okay, this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna flop the bed down and see what happens. Put this one down. Nice. I'm right, gonna gently put this side down. Oh my God, it lines up. <laughs> Oh yes, it freaking lines up. Oh, gonna be more bang on now. Yeah, screw you lopsided trailer. I made my bed work. <laughs> 
So that's the bed frame in. Let's get to doing the legs here so I can go eat some dinner. Oh, it's so comfy in here. Oh. Oh. I'm glad that's done. <laughs> 